You may wonder what sorcery is involved in making these surfaces float. Under the hood, we find the front mounting plus bracket. Just like its little brother, the front mounting bracket, these bad boys are built for sheer strength. Here's how you install them. There are some things you just shouldn't do, like snore through the sermon, eat a burger with a fork, or use power tools without safety glasses. Safety goggles are a thing. Live large and wear them. And if you're kicking up dust, wear one of these. Some earplugs, and keep your skin on with gloves. Helps you grip your tools better, too. Now let's gear up. Installation of the front mounting plus bracket is as straightforward as heating up leftovers. You'll need a stud finder, a pencil, an oscillating multi-tool, a drill, a 964 inch bit, a number 3 Phillips driver, a drywall patch kit, a level, silicone adhesive, and maybe a beverage. And to demonstrate how straightforward installation is, we chose Keith because he has no prior experience installing our brackets. Gasp! The installer has no experience installing brackets? He'll do just fine. You'll see. See, have you looked outside? There's a stupid bus just waiting for you to get on. Relax. He's got this covered. What he needs covered is an insurance policy for hazard pay. No experience. I can't believe my ears. You don't have any ears. Get below the belt. You don't have that either. Mm. Just saying. That's not my fault. My parents were decaffeinated before I was a bean. First you hire a novice installer, then you insult me. Sounds like a win. Win. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I was hoping you'd say that. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were leaving. Oh, I'd love to stay and watch this operation die on the table, but my dignity just called to say my brilliance is needed elsewhere. You're going, right? I'm not listening. I don't have ears anyway, remember? Now that we're geared up, let's begin the installation. First, use the stud finder to locate and mark the position of the stud, then mark the center point between them. Use a level to draw a vertical line down the center. Use the bracket as a template to mark its placement, lining up the middle hole with the vertical line. Then use an oscillating multi-tool to cut the sheetrock. Cut the hole a bit larger than the area of the bracket, because you'll need a little wiggle room. Why not mount them right on the sheetrock, you may inquire? Because they take some cheap bracket like a polyester suit. Heavy duty brackets hold heavy stuff, and heavy stuff will squish your sheet rock like a bug in a bug. Was that necessary? Just saying. Now, center the bracket on the stud. Starting in the middle hole, drill a pilot hole using a 964 inch bit. This will help ensure the wood doesn't split. Mount the bracket to the stud using one of the provided number 12 wood screws. Now, ensure that the top of the bracket is level and drill a pilot hole in the bottom hole and secure it with a screw. Then, finish with pilot holes and screws on both sides of the top. If you find that your stud wall is not plumb, be sure to shim the bracket. Repeat the process for the remaining brackets using a level between them to ensure they are level with each other. Once the brackets are secure and level, patch the wall with a drywall patch kit. Then run a bead of high-quality silicone adhesive down the center of each bracket. Carefully place the top, and you're done. Pull up a chair and get to work. Write your congressman. Troll the internet. Check out our other installation videos or download written instructions at countertopbracket.com. And remember, measure twice, cut once. Or measure once till it bites you in the fanny.